All right, so let's continue. Select this. So mainly I want us to work on this uh, part really. So go into edit mode. Let's select these parts. So hold down shift. Shift D to duplicate and uh, push escape then P to create a separate uh, mesh go into object mode and then while selecting this let's go to the top view push tab on the keyboard to go into edit mode let's just move close so i'll be in point mode and i want to move these points closer So this is not supposed to be too big, too wide. Let's see how it looks like. So apparently it's uh, going into the mesh. So let's select this one. Let's move it out. I think that was a bit just too much. Let's move this one as well. Select, make sure you're in edge. And then select all these edges hold down shift double click and double click here and double click there then shift e on the keyboard and then just move drag out Control r on the keyboard and just move that edge to the end let's do that same thing at the bottom right and let's turn off x-ray so apparently it's a bit too high so go into edit mode and let's select all these and let's just move them down then let's see what we have okay that looks good i like that save okay so now push the dot on the number pad I want to select this and let's go into edit mode so we have this line here so what I want us to do is add holes for the shoelaces so um, right now depending on how many holes we want to add so let's see from the reference image that we have let's go to the side view and let's turn on our image our reference image let's turn on x-ray as well so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these. So let's go into edit mode. So I can add one hole here. That's one. And I can cut one here. So one, two, three, four. And I can add one here, five. But I think I still need two more. So let's cut this. So we can cut here. So remember you cut this side you also need to cut the other side and we can also cut I think here let's also cut here okay so now we have more more geometry for us where we can add uh, shoeless holes so now the next thing is uh, I want us to add another line just in between here so control R and let's add another loop just here okay that's okay oops she pushed space so it started playing all right Turn off x-ray and let me turn off that image so that I can see what's going on. Let me go into object mode, uh, edit mode. Okay, so I'll make the holes here. Because hmm. I'm keeping room on top here to add uh the the cotton lines 
I need two cotton lines passing through right here. So if I make holes from here, shoelaces can be coming down here. So that actually work. Okay, let me go to the side view. And let's see. So what I want to, what I want to do now is get a knife, the knife too, and then cut here where I'll be making the holes. So let's do this. So uh, get a knife and then come here. So I'll cut here and here, then push space on the keyboard to activate that. So let's do the same around. So K. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'll get into face mode and then select the face. So I'll select all these faces here and push delete, then I'll say faces. So I remain with these holes. So this is where our shoelaces will be going in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven of these. So now what we can do is let's go back in edit mode we can actually now go in and then start uh make sure in point mode you can actually start moving them so that they look the same uh height radius anyway okay so don't bother yourself too much to make them too round because we are going to be putting in uh rings around this so uh let's do the same for the other side all right uh that's okay so there are two more holes here. If we look our, if we look at our reference image, let's go into X-ray and then let's go to the side. Uh, oh, it's actually the other, the other shoe, the other side. If we go to the reference, there are actually two more holes down here. So those are the ones that I, that I want to add. Okay, so let's add them here. So here I'll add a line like this. Okay, let's just add. I'll cut here and here. That's a bit too low. Let me go to the side view. So I want them to be here. All right, and then select this face and this one, then delete them. Okay, let me just turn off that. Okay, so space. And we have two holes right there. All right. So the next thing here we are supposed to add, so you can save at this point. The next thing we have to add is just get, so while we are in another mode, or we can actually add them in the same. Mm, that won't be a very good idea. So let's add a separate object. Shift A, and then let's get a torus. Well, I just want to reduce this to 24 so that I can just reduce the number of polygons that I have in here. I'll select this. Let me go to the, okay, so if I go to the right, rotate, and then hold down control, so make sure it's 90, and let's go to the back, and S to stretch, oops, my bad, S to stretch, so let's stretch it going down, okay, so let's move this. So I can position this here. Okay, so I want to make it a bit bigger. 
okay that looks okay to me i don't think it should be too big oops my bad yeah just that size i don't think it should be too big so now let me just position it select it in this way okay let me just push the dot on the number pad and so if you push uh, shift and the navigation to that's free movement and if we want we can actually just push R for rotate and then we rotate it like that and also like adding this up so this takes up a bit of some time so I'll speed the video up just to keep it short Right, so once you're done with this, what you do is you move out of edit mode and then select uh, this other part of the shoe and now go into edit mode and let's fix uh, these points so that we don't actually see uh, these lines inside the, the rings. All right, so we are done with those. Catch me in the next video where we'll be adding some more stuff.